Grace, peace, and mercy to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. So friends, today we're going to talk about a child who never grew up. And no, I'm not talking about Peter Pan, at least not yet. Although, as I said, he'll make an appearance later. But rather, I'm talking about the child within each of us. But why is that even important? Because Jesus says the child within each of us is a central part of our spiritual lives. You see, often in our world, growing up is often seen as a process of leaving behind childish things. We're told to be mature, to be serious, to be an adult. Won't you ever grow up? But Jesus turns this idea on its head. He tells us that to truly grow in faith, we need to be more like children. Now, this idea that Jesus is putting forth might seem completely counterintuitive at first. After all, aren't we supposed to mature in our faith? Well, yes. But there's a crucial difference between childishness and childlikeness. Jesus isn't calling us to be immature or irresponsible, but instead he's inviting us to recapture the certain qualities of childhood that are essential for a vibrant, growing faith. Just like the children we heard about in our reading from the Gospel of Matthew, we too are called to have faith like the youngest among us. But that can be a difficult idea to understand and to put into action. So instead of each of us trying to sit around and figure out what this looks like, let's take some time today to discover what having a childlike faith actually looks like. So first, it looks like maintaining humility. Think about it. Children don't worry about status or power. They are content to be who they are without pretense or without pride. And Jesus calls us to this same humility, recognizing our complete and utter dependence upon God. I mean, think about a young child learning to walk. They fall down countless times. They give their parents and their grandparents gray hair because we're all afraid they're going to fall and hit their head on the coffee table. But they don't get embarrassed and they don't give up. They simply get up and try again. And that's the kind of humility that we need in our faith journey. The willingness to admit our failures, to learn from them, and then to keep moving forward. Now, secondly, a childlike faith is characterized by a continuing and continual trust in God. Remember how easy children trust? They believe whatever they're told without cynicism. When a parent says, I'm going to catch you, they jump up and they run away, right? It's the same kind of trust that Jesus invites us to when he invites us to have a relationship with God. It's a trust that is filled with the same wholehearted abandon. But often in our adult lives, we often struggle with trust. We've all been hurt, disappointed, or let down, and it really does become hard to trust. And it is in that context that Jesus calls us back to this childlike trust. It's not a naive trust, but it's a chosen one based on the character of our loving Heavenly Father. Now, thirdly, a childlike faith is one that holds on to its wonder and its openness. Children see the world with wide-eyed amazement. Everything is new and exciting. A cardboard box can become a spaceship, it can become a castle, it can become a cave. And we are called to approach our faith with this same sense of wonder and the same sense of openness to learning. But once again, as adults, we often lose that sense of wonder. We think we've heard it all before. I know what's going to come out of your mouth. And we become jaded 
or cynical. But what if we approached our faith? What if we approached the Bible? What if we approached our relationship with God with new eyes each and every day? And then fourth and lastly, a childlike faith is one that embraces simplicity. Kids have a knack for cutting through the complexity of it all, don't they? They focus on what really matters. And in our faith, we're called to the same simplicity. We're not supposed to get bogged down in the theological debates and the ritualistic practices and the way we've always done it. But we are to focus our sincere trust in God and in loving others. And Jesus makes it really simple for us as well. He emphasized this simplicity when he broke down that huge laundry list of laws that we find in the Old Testament to two things. And there are two things you hear me say all the time. So what are they? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And Peter Pan, remember how I said we were eventually going to get around to him? Well, he had this childlike faith as well, but he needed to rediscover it. You see, in the movie Hook, Peter has grown up. He's become a parent. He's forgotten his magical past. He's become a workaholic lawyer. He's neglected his family, and he loses touch with the joy and the wonder of his youth. That is, until his children are kidnapped and he has to return to Neverland. And when he first gets back to Neverland, nobody recognizes him. But then one lost boy takes a step out in faith. This young lost boy sees the child, the Peter Pan they all know, underneath the exterior that is presented. And this is what Jesus is calling us to do, to rediscover that childlike part of ourselves that believes, that trusts, that sees with eyes of faith. It's not about denying our adult responsibilities or reverting to immaturity. It's about reclaiming the simplest and the most central part of our faith, the childlike aspects of our faith, and then applying them to our lives. Remember, Jesus calls us to this childlike faith, a faith that's humble, trusting, full of wonder, and beautifully simple. And sometimes that means that we have to dig deep within ourselves to rediscover that faith, to have to find it underneath all of the cares and the troubles and all the garbage that this world heaps upon us. And we have to dust it off. Later on in Hook, we see that Peter Pan has to relearn how to fly. He's forgotten how underneath all the worries of this life. But then he remembers that it's not such a complicated thing after all. But rather, it's done by rediscovering his happy thought. By reconnecting with his childlike joy. And in the same way, our ability to truly live out our faith comes from reconnecting with the childlike faith that Jesus speaks with. Now, you might be saying, well, this all sounds nice, but how do I actually do this in my daily life? It's all a great theological, philosophical idea, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. So how do we connect this to our daily life? Well, that's a great question, and I'd love to tell you. So here are some practical ways to embrace your inner Peter Pan of your faith life. First, stop. Stop and take some time to once again marvel at the creation and the handiwork of God. Think about it. When was the last time that you really took time to look at the world around you? When was the last time that you watched a sunset or examined a flower or looked at the stars? Take a moment, or perhaps even more than a few moments, and let yourself be filled with the awe of the intricate beauty of God's handiwork. 
Now, second, remember that faith is first and foremost about trusting God and God's promises, even and especially when we don't understand what's going on around us, so that when we are faced with challenges or uncertainties, we can live out our childlike faith. Remember yourself, and remember in yourself the faithfulness that God has had in the past, and trust in him more in the future. And then lastly, simplify your faith. Focus on loving God and loving others. Ask yourself repeatedly, am I loving God with all my heart? Am I loving my neighbor as myself? And let these questions help to guide your life as they guide your faith. Remember, in God's kingdom, it's not about growing up and leaving childish things behind, but it is about growing down becoming like the little children in our faith. It's about shedding the layers of cynicism, jadism, doubt, worldly wisdom, all those things that we've accumulated over the years, and returning to that simple, pure faith that Jesus speaks of. It's about remembering what God has already done for us and forgiving us, renewing our relationship with us, and living our lives out in gratitude for those gifts. It's about loving God and loving neighbor. It's about treating others the way you yourself want to be treated. And it is about living with the pure intentions. It's about approaching our own faith in God and God's promises with a childlike spirit. It's about approaching those promises with humility, trust, wonder, simplicity. So this week, I want to challenge you to consciously embrace your inner child of the faith life. Look for opportunities to trust more fully, to wonder more openly, and to love more simply. And remember that Jesus calls us to be those people who don't grow up in faith, because in God's eyes, That's exactly who we are meant to be. May we all rediscover the joy, the trust, and the wonder of childlike faith. And may we, like Peter Pan, remember how to fly. Not through our own efforts, but through the amazing and liberating power of our awesome God. And so today, as we all say, amen.